Hello everybody, my name is Firefight and welcome to episode 2 of The Wolf Among Us. We're in Big B's apartment, apparently getting a snack that we don't have any of, unfortunately. Not even fucking ice. Kinda sucks. It's in the fridge. Got some- Why do I even own this? <laughs> yeah, huge ass fridge? What are you doing, man? Alright, let's see what's out here. It's a blue beard folder. What's that all about? Blue beard's file. It was blue beard. Never trusted this guy. Okay, don't trust blue beard. Got it. Um, Chinese food. Don't even remember ordering that. Jesus. Probably dude. a bad sign. It is. At least you noticed that. It's okay. Yeah, turn on the fucking fan. It must be hot in here, dude. Should help. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. What the fuck? What are you doing? Where hey, are you? Colin. Get up. No one ever gets up when he says anything. Is he dead? Jesus. Oh, hey, Jesus Christ. I'm in your chair, huh? Um. There's only the one. Only got the one. So, yeah. No bed or anything? Pretty fucking slow there, Colin. What's up, Colin? Got a smoke? I do. Well, there you go. Man, he lit back fucking quick. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. Sending you back. I'm so nice, man. That for me? Nope. The house nope. didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now I'm not saying it's reason like enough I said for you in to the have last definitely episode. been. I'm gonna be nice to the people but, uh, I think I should be nice to. It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I just want that some was rest. all you were saying. I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly, that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. Oh, whatever. But, uh, I, it no, didn't even give me the option to give you anything. the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. That's true. I was Look, the big bad wolf. I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job? I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. What? I didn't... I don't mean to... No. Oh. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. You're embarrassing, pig. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Nope, Name I was one. really nice to the horror. 
It was nice to Toad. Toad? Mr. Toad? Okay. How were his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, uh, sounds about right. Yeah. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. True that. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, Snow. maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. I'll give you fucking Wait, a that drink. Doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Jesus. Yep. There you go. It's yours. Thanks, Big B. I don't care what a pig likes to drink. You sleep on your fucking chair? I didn't take him to the farm, I gave him the damn drink. He seems nice enough, he's just telling me how it is, I guess. Fuck. What? Oh shit, sorry. I, I didn't know I was playing. A lot of cutscenes. I'm coming, damn it. Shit. What? <laughs> Check it before you wreck it. Big B. Snow? Come hey, with Snow. me. Oh, uh, okay. Snow White? Probably. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is slow it? Down. Just, uh, slow down. Just... Slow down. No. Keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or... Evening. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my way. Who are you? Are you a fable? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Shit, what's going on? Damn. Hot damn, everybody. Hot damn. Oh, hot damn. I don't know what to expect from Snow White. I got an achievement. Wolf in Sheriff's Clothing. Chapter 2, Episode 1. There you go, guys. Oh, fuck, what is that? Uh-oh. Guy's still fucking asleep. Grab. Someone dead under there? What the fuck? Is it just a jacket? Oh my god! Ew! No. No way! He fucking cut her head off! What's that guy, dude? Is. She's not a money. Fuck. Right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. True that. People are out late. 
We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I guess. Damn, dude. I really liked her. Alright, let's, uh... Let's examine the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. The lips. Is it what? gum? Grab. Ew. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. And the head. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Well, it had to have been the lumberjack. I don't know. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, dude! I already talked to you. Um... What is over this way? Door... Blood trail. Let's look at it first. Always look at stuff first, guys. That's what I've learned from the Walking Dead series by Telltale Games. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Hmm. Well, let's go follow it. More blood trail. Piece of fabric. No sign. It's been here. Well, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, everyone wears jeans, man. Everybody. Doesn't lose trash. Doesn't hurt to check. Yep. More blood. Yep. Someone the might fence, have the fence. Got caught. Then left the trail I found earlier. Yep. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. True that, I guess. Um. I already checked the trash can. Got a ring. Um. Is there anything this way? Yes. Anything. Anything at all. Bush. Nobody there. Well, obviously. All right. Looks to be about as far as I can go. Once I go this way. Man, really? You had to fucking kill her, dude. You already beat her enough, asshole. Doesn't look like anything's over here, so let's talk to Snow and see what's next. Um, I'll show her the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Not the same color. We should move her. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? I don't want to say yet. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. Well, fuck her. I don't want to say anything yet. I don't know everything I'm yet. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. 
He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you I need to do? I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I haven't met him yet, I'm so not. I don't know. Yeah, definitely I just not. don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Fuck. Does he get like one hour of sleep, I guess? Achievements galore. I got a text. Hello. Hi everybody. Are you blind? Fuck you, dude. Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. Really? You to just walk in? Must be nice being the show. I work here. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. Fuck these guys, that man. didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. God damn, dude. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'll be rude to you. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do Whoa. you understand me? Yes, this place is of so course cool. I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else no is one to blame, blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, oh, fuck you, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Fuck you. Do your job, Sheriff. God, we'll this find right. someone who can. I'll shut up for now. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Mm -hmm. He gets a morning he gets massage. A massage this early. Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. The fuck is, is that? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. What the fuck? Oh, you you're from um. Fuck. I don't know. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Buffkin. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking this early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> hey. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm fine. fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. 
Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Woo! That's so he cool. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Well, let's check the fucking I mirror. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Alright, let's check the mirror. Let's talk to the magic mirror that's just in the corner hey, of this office mirror. now. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? <sighs> Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Don't know her Don't name. Don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. All right, no I'm good. Right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Cute. Here we go. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Let's check these books. What's this? Some cards. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. That's me. Or the wolf, I guess. Oh, fuck. Let's go over here, where everyone else is. Fast walk. All right. Um, I'll look at this book. The Book of Symbols. We're looking for that, well, excuse me, that one symbol. This ring, right here. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo. I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, wow. Should I 
mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. It's very disturbing. Wow. That's why she was so and troubled. what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Well, we should talk to the husband. We should. You think he did it? <sighs> we have to notify no, him. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. A lot of facial, facial expressions there. Alright guys, I'm ending this episode here. I'm probably going to keep playing anyway. This this game, man, it's cool. I really, I'm, I'm liking all the games I'm playing right now. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the, in the next fucking episode. <laughs> Alright, see you then. Bye-bye!